plan on the table to revitalize the shopping center at Swain Field in Toledo's Inglewood neighborhood. Much has changed at that location that was once the home of the Mud Hens, dating back over 100 years. Yeah, but this new plan has hit a snag and may take longer than some had hoped. I-Team reporter Sean Haggerty live now with the issues. Sean. The plan for the renovations and the fixes here come in the form of a loan. There's concern from some people about the owner's ability to pay the loan back. The parking lot is in rough shape and buildings need some TLC, but if each one is addressed, this is how Swain Field Shopping Center could look. They're building up all around, ProMedica from the, the west end, downtown's building up, and we're right in the center. Complex operations manager William Lucas knows the potential. That's why he's optimistic the owners will qualify for an $816,000 loan through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. A significant difference in what we can do as far as the facade of the location, the parking lot, the lighting. Additions include not only retail, but a partnership between NeighborWorks Toledo and Owens Community College to teach students things like weatherization and lead abatement. The project holdup is worry from some members of city council that complex ownership will not be able to pay the loan back. About 62000 will be due each year. The loan passes through the city, so if the owners default, the city is on the hook and would likely foreclose. If you look at the revenue from their rents on this shopping center, they have enough revenue to pay 62000 and some do dollars annually in debt service. Rosalind Clemens, the city's director of housing and community development, says all the due diligence shows the owners can pay. She's hopeful concerned council members can see that and that's when the application heads to those federal leaders for final approval. And to give you an idea of the needs in this part of the community here at Monroe in Detroit, the Fifth Third Bank just a couple of months ago completely out of business. The ATM's open, but the bank itself is gone. So just an idea that this part of the community needs resources like this and could really benefit from a redevelopment like that. City Council may take this up again in the next two weeks. Reporting live, Sean Hegarty, 13 Action News.